Welcome to the Highlights from Ukraine podcast, your daily audio summary of the latest news reported in the Ukrainian media. If you like what we do and want to support us, you can do so on our PayPal and Patreon. Even a couple dollars or euros will let us know that we are on the right track. Details and links you can find in the description to this episode. My name is Artem and here is the news. 226 days less the Russian invasion of Ukraine. Massive fire erupted on the Kerch Bridge, the only bridge that connects the Crimean Peninsula annexed by Russia in 2014 with Russian territory, reports Ukrainska Pravda. Russian media report that railway fuel tank caught fire and traffic on the bridge was suspended. According to the Russian authorities, the arches of the bridge were not damaged. At the moment, they are preparing to launch a ferry across the strait. Crimea plays an important role in the full-fledged Russian invasion of Ukraine, as since 2014 it was turned into a large Russian military base. From Crimea, Russia launched the initial offensive on the Ukrainian-controlled south on February 24. It is also the main base of the Russian Black Sea Fleet. The bridge is important to supply Russian forces. The 2022 Nobel Peace Prize was awarded to Ukrainian human rights organization Center for Civil Liberties, currently imprisoned Belarusian human rights activist Alex Belatsky, and Russian Memorial Human Rights Center, who is fighting in the courts against the decision of Russian authorities to close it, reports BBC News Ukraine. The Nobel Committee said that they have been awarded for long-term promotion of the right to criticize power and protect the fundamental rights of citizens. This is the first ever Nobel Prize received by a Ukrainian organization. This news is actively discussed in Ukrainian society. Many are pointed out that it's weird that an award was given at the same time to representatives of the country that invaded, the country who supported the invasion and the one that was invaded, meaning here Russia, Belarus and Ukraine accordingly. In particular, this view is shared by the advisor to the head of the president's office, Mikhailo Podolyak. Other think that it represents the committee's stereotypical view of Ukrainians, Russians and Belarusians as fraternal nations, the view strongly supported by the Kremlin. Another opinion is that it is weird that citizens of such an aggressive state as Russia received the Nobel Peace Prize two years in a row, as last year the award went to editor-in-chief of the Russian newspaper Novaya Gazeta Dmitry Muratov. At the same time, others say that this is only a recognition that where Russia tries to project its influence, there is an acute need for those who are ready to protect people's freedoms and rights. Head of the Center for Civil Liberties, which won the 2022 Nobel Peace Prize, Oleksandra Matvichuk, called for the United Nations reform, reports Interfax Ukraine. She said that if we do not want to live in a world where rules are determined by whoever has the most powerful military potential and not by the rule of law, reforms are needed. Matvichuk said that the UN and its member states need to create security guarantees for all countries and their citizens, regardless of their participation or non-participation in military blocs or their military strength. She believes that Russia should be expelled from the UN Security Council for systematic violations of the UN Charter. Matvichuk added that there is also a need to address the issue of responsibility gaps and ensure that hundreds of thousands of victims of war crimes have a chance at justice. Quote, without this, sustainable peace in our region is impossible. An international tribunal should be created and Putin, Lukashenko and other war criminals should be held accountable. Unquote. In his evening video address, President Volodymyr Zelensky informed that he has signed a decree recognizing the former northern territories of Japan as lands occupied by Russia. A group of islands north of Japan was occupied by the Soviet Union during World War II and became part of Russia. Japan has never recognized this as a lawful transfer of the territory. Zelensky stressed that Russia has no right to these territories and everyone in the world knows this well. The president informed that this week alone Ukrainian soldiers liberated 776 square kilometers of territory in the east and 29 settlements, including six in the Lugansk region. In total, almost 2,500 square kilometers and 96 settlements have been liberated since the beginning of this offensive operation. Almost 30,000 Ukrainian military were awarded state awards in this full-fledged war. A total of 178 Ukrainians received the highest award of the state, the title of Hero of Ukraine. French President Emmanuel Macron announced the creation of 100 million euro special fund to support Ukraine, reports Deutsche Welle. 
Macron clarified that the fund will allow Ukraine to buy the necessary military equipment directly from French manufacturers. We call on you to demand from governments of your countries to impose the toughest sanctions possible on Russia and its citizens to stop their invasion of Ukraine.